Shushu Nemation. Hello, Juju here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been three months, more, four maybe, that I've updated, uploaded anything. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna skip the I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that because if I say it, I'm never gonna do it. <laughs> so yeah, let's just head deep into this, uh, deep. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm just blabbering on with no script or anything. Just how I normally do things. Nothing is scripted. <laughs> and it should. So it can sound more professional. But I'm just enjoying the things how it is, how it is right now. And yep. The thing I am drawing right now is um, Ariana Grande fan art. Which... I posted it up on social media already, on Instagram. Um, it's all finished and all glammed up and everything. But I think I also posted it on Redbubble, but it got taken down because it was fan art, <laughs> I guess. It, yeah, Ariana Grande. It's just that. And so, yeah, I really didn't care much about it because... Eh, I'm not that fond with fan arts. I mean, I used to. That's why my Instagram still has a lot of Steven Universe fan arts from woo, way in the past, like a year ago. And I got, it, let's say, very bad criticism when I never asked for critiques in the first place. I was just having fun. Um, but they weren't in public. They were D They were DMs. Um, they would criticize my work saying that I'm ruining the Steven Universe uh, fandom because I kept drawing them in weird ways that I shouldn't and I'm like well this is freedom but um, uh, I guess nobody can't draw whatever they want anymore uh, at the time I was enjoying Steven Universe fan art but then as I was getting to the point where I, I wanted to um, launch my webcomic at the time and I didn't know where though at I didn't know where to I didn't know much about line webtoons at that time when I was starting um I think I was planning many many things especially the Gemini saga but the one that I found it with the most to be my first debut comic would be Universal Love so that's when I started using uploading more sketches of my original work instead of fan art I think that was like a year ago in October um, where I started pl plotting down the whole thing of universal love, the characters. I've drawn the characters on my sketchbook. I need to draw them, the updated versions, with my new art style. Uh, I need to draw them, seriously. Jalen and Monica and Kelsey were the only ones that I updated. Kelsey wasn't in... in in the um, character profiles in the past. At first she was. She was going to be uh, Gina. But I changed her into a separate character. Yep. Sorry if you hear noises in the background. I'm making my <laughs> lunch. So yeah. Ariana Grande fan art got taken down. And it didn't really bother me much. I mean you can at least see. Um, see the fan art on Instagram. And if you wanted to download the PDF files. Uh, without the finishes, finishing touches, you can actually see uh, download the PDF files on my Gumroad. Link will be down in the description below. Um, so yeah, I think I I recorded the first parts too, but it, for some reason my recorder wasn't recording. <laughs> I pushed the record button and it blinked. It went beep, and it zoomed out of the screen. It was marking that it was recording. But I guess it never recorded the whole process. Uh, it only recorded the the highlighting. Which is so ironic because the highlighting was the enjoyable part. Mostly for me. I mean, I enjoyed drawing the whole thing. The most frustrating for me would be the neck. Her neck is super long. I never noticed that her Ariana Grande's neck was super long. <laughs> or I was just look. I don't know. I, I draw long necks as like cartoon characters but when it's real life i always feel like is is the neck is supposed to be this bendy and this long and this skinny <laughs> i 
<laughs> yeah, so yeah, my favorite part is always always the highlights. I always love the highlighting, but I used to think that oh, people is not going to are not going to like my style if I do use a lot of highlights. I should dim it down. I should use shade and pff, the shade, the shading. I hate shading. I hate it with all my guts. I just don't like shading. I like value shadings or a little bit of shading or mood shading, but I just don't like shading in general. I just love highlights, extreme highlighting. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Um, and I think this year, at the end of 2018, in October, around that time, I think, or December, in the beginning of December, I started to just embrace the highlights because it's my favorite part and I should show off what I love the most. So I started um, highlighting more. And I did an illustration with my Juby back then. I should have recorded that too. But it was it was a lot of experimentation that I did back then. So it wouldn't handle... The recorder would, wouldn't handle the so many hours that I put into that. <laughs> it's my current favorite illustration too. Where I, I... I don't know if I got the anatomy right with her arms. But I liked it anyways. And I enjoyed it. I loved her hair. And her eyes, the expression that she put, because she's a, she's a galaxy goddess. God, blah, blah, I can't speak now. She's a galaxy goddess, so her expression. I wanted her to eliminate. I wanted her to look like no kind of human emotion can go through her, <laughs> since she is just a galaxy goddess. She just takes care of the galaxy along with her sassy sidekick, which is not her sidekick. She's the sidekick. <laughs> the the being which is her mouth the sassy stomach mouth that always has something to say but I never put dialogue in there <laughs> but that's because I want to save the whole sassiness um for the actual comic which is gonna I at first it wasn't gonna be part of the my um Gemini saga but it turned out to be part of the Gemini saga because it was really cool the concept that I came up with I'm like <gasps> Oh my god, she would be really good for this and that. And the stomach will be everything. <laughs> I freak out when I come up with story ideas that can combine with Gemini Saga or a whole different comic in general. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm so weird with that. I, I bet other artists too, where they just come up with OCs and everything, they'll be like, oh my gosh, this OC is this. <gasps> and they can have that. And all that. And they can be like children that suffer or just, I don't know, that have crazy superpowers to make others happy. <laughs> That's how I come up with my OCs too. Other people don't. Other people just have troubles with uh, creating OCs in general. But they have really good story plots. Or, I don't know. I, other artists are other artists. I don't know what the majority do. <laughs> But yeah, um, here I'm highlighting and you can see that I'm experimenting with the brush size. Sorry if you hear background noises. Again, I'm in the kitchen trying to look for something to cook. But yeah, I've been trying to experiment with um, the highlighting type. I tried to highlight with a small brush, which for me, I didn't like. It was taking forever. And I finally decided to use the bigger brush. And in the future, I'm actually changing that too. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you like this little Ariana Grande fan art. If you want to see the PDF files, you can check the link in the description below. Thank you.